So apparently, Greece has its own Grand Canyon. It's called the Vikos Gorge, and one of the best and most accessible viewpoints of this gorge is the Beloy viewpoint. Right now, I'm on the hiking trail that takes you to that point. You can drive as far as the village of Vradeto, and then you can walk the rest of the way. Apparently, it's about a 30-minute hike. It's about, I think, 2.7 kilometers, so not too bad. It's not super steep or really, really difficult in any area. If you're even slightly in shape, then it should be fine. Uh, and I'm not finding it very difficult at all to walk up this trail. In fact, the only other people I've seen going down this trail are older people. So, you know, you definitely can do this if you're not super, super in shape. But apparently the viewpoint is really worth doing this hike because it's really beautiful and it is definitely one of the very unique natural things to see up here in northern Greece. The Vikos Gorge is up in the Epirus region of northwestern Greece. The natural mountain area here, which is called the Zagori area, and the Zagorohoria, the Zagori villages, kind of dot the landscape around here as well. But uh, it's a very mountainous and very remote but very natural and beautiful landscape up here. If you're coming up here on a late summer day like I am, you'll probably have some wonderful conditions for doing a hike. There are a lot of hikes you can take in this area. I mean, if you're like really super fit and like expert level hiker, there are hikes through the Zagori Gorge where it's like, okay, it takes you all day, like five, six hours, and you know, you can make a whole day of it. I decided to just take the easy and accessible hike to see the Vikos Gorge so I can show you guys, and also because I did spend a few hours driving up here from Thessaloniki, so I want to come and see this gorge and then head up to the village of Konica, which is where I'm going to stay, but because this is a very mountainous area with very narrow winding roads. Um, it does take a little while to get around here. So if you're going to come from the Saloniki to here and then go up to Konica, I mean, you know, you're going to need all day to do all of that. I should be getting pretty close to the Beloy viewpoint now. It is definitely worth it. Looks amazing from up here. Wow. Yeah. One of the most beautiful landscapes that I've seen in person. Yes. <laughs> really beautiful natural wonder up here in the mountains of northwestern Greece. The Vikos Gorge looks really great from the Beloy viewpoint. If you're lucky enough to have it to yourself at any point, it's even more awesome. Now let's walk back to the car and drive up to Konica and get something to eat. And we have just arrived finally. <laughs> and we have just arrived in Konica, so let's see what the place I've rented looks like. Ah, looks really nice. Nice little studio. It's even got a little teeny tiny TV there, air conditioning, couch, little table, little kitchen, and here's the bed. So clearly this is in a really old house that is sort of in the style of this region and uh, they've renovated it. Let's look at the bathroom. All right, not bad. Take a little shower here. All right. Looks like it'll do for one night. Looks like it is a studio in part of this really old house that I guess uh, has been here for a long time. Now that we finally made it to Konica after a long day of driving and then hiking, let's uh, leave the stuff and go get something to eat. Oh, 
que se pedía y tal. Given that we are up in the mountains, meat is the thing to eat here, so I've got a nice meat dish on the way. And also, tsiporo is the thing to drink, but tsiporo is not unique to this region, however, different than in Thessaloniki or in Kalkiviki, where it tends to be in a taller glass with ice, here you get it in a shot. It's kind of similar to Raki. And to be honest, I actually like it better that way anyway. Yamas. So, a very filling and delicious end to an adventurous day up here in the northwestern part of Greece. Really great hike up to the Vikos Gorge. Like I said, it's worth the effort to get up there for sure. And then worth it to come up here to Konitsa and have a nice dinner after. Thank you very much. You're from welcome. Our wonderful host here at the restaurant. And I'll, I will leave a link down below and a description about the stuff I just showed you here that I ate. This, this guy's grandma makes the cheese, by the way. Tomorrow I am rushing out of here to go to the next place that I'm going to travel to. And I will show you guys that, of course. But you'll have to subscribe in order to find out and be able to stay tuned to see where that is. So until then, take care and travel better.